It's business as usual at this family-owned hardware store in Regina's Northwest. But by the end of this summer, no more keys will be cut and no more customers will be shopping down these aisles. And the reason? Well, Lori can answer that one. I can answer it. Yeah. I'm retiring. Siblings Monty Buzash and Lori Minky are closing down their home hardware, marking the end of an era. Their parents, Andy and Ida Buzash, first opened the store back in 1984. It was in downtown Regina to start, and then their children took it over in 2001. And that's when they relocated from downtown here to Rochdale Boulevard. Linda Pomodi was hired by the family as a cashier more than 30 years ago. She's now retired, but had stayed on for one shift a week because she loved her job. I like the staff. And I like the workers, I like the, the, the bosses. They were very good to me, and I like the customers. Regina Home Hardware, how can I help you? Like many others, Megan Stenson found her first part-time job here and saved up for post-secondary education. But like the store's name implies, that soon turned into a home away from home. I've been here so long, it doesn't even feel like work anymore. It was a family that started it, and it's a, a family that atmosphere that we, we created here and uh, carried on. And that feeling hits close to home for Sydney Buzash. She's worked at the store with her dad for the last four years and Sydney says she's too young to carry on the family business and it makes her sad to know it will soon be gone forever. And this store isn't part of my identity. Like I don't know if I would be the same person if I hadn't been here my whole life and worked here. For longtime customers like Celine Holloway, driving by and not seeing that big red sign will also take some getting used to. And I think it's really going to leave a huge hole in a lot of people's shopping lists. As for the Boozash and Minky families, they say it will be more like a big hole in the heart. Like the saying goes, all good things come to an end. Yeah. Jesse Anton, CBC News, Regina.